once upon a time, two good friends were sitting below a big beech tree. One of them was Kroll. He had a beautiful orange fur and a big fluffy tail. The other one was Hedgehog. Hedgehog had a lot of beautiful sharp spikes on her back. Black and white spikes. It was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. But it was already autumn and so there was a cold freezing wind blowing through the forest. And Hedgehog could feel it underneath her spikes on her back and she shivered. Hey squirrel, do you feel the cold wind on your back? I think winter will be coming soon. And squirrel nodded. Yes, yes I can feel it and also did you see all the leaves in the trees? Some of them, they've turned already as, as orange as my fur. I think winter's really coming soon. Yes, maybe we should find ourselves or make ourselves a nice warm nest where we can stay warm during the winter. Yes, yes, that's a great idea, but how do we do that? I've, I've kind of forgotten, I think, maybe. Well, you know what? Our dear friend, the rabbit, she lives in a beautiful hole in the ground together with all of her family. Maybe she can help us. Maybe we can go have a look. Yes, yes, that's a great idea. And so Squirrel went and he ran through the forest. And then sometimes he would wait for a little bit for Hedgehog and then run and run and run again. And well, Hedgehog took her time and she just slowly wandered through the forest until they both came to the grassland with the hills where Rabbit lived. Well, Rabbit was just very busy, just uh, jumping on the ground and running around, very excited, when he saw the two friends. Hey, hey, Rabbit, do you want to play uh, hide and seek or something? Or, oh, no, wait, wait, we came in with a reason. Um, so did you feel the cold wind on your back and, and did you see all the leaves in the trees? They're turning orange and so we thought, well, winter is coming soon and, and, and you see, we wanted to have a look at your beautiful hole in the ground because we want to make a warm nest for ourselves during the winter. So may, could we maybe have a look inside? Would that be okay? Oh yes, of course. Well, come on in. And Rabbit went down the hole. Down the hole. And Hedgehog followed. And then Squirrel came also. <sighs> Hedgehog, she really liked it down there. It was calm and quiet and dark. And she listened well. She could hear the worms digging in the ground. Oh, they were delicious. But it was still a little chilly and she could still feel some of the cold wind on her back. But Squirrel didn't like it so much at all, there on the ground, down in the ground. It was dark and it was, yeah, he just, he didn't really like it. He missed being able to, to, to look from the tree and see everything in the forest. Um, and also he was a bit scared because, you know, the fox. He couldn't see the fox coming from here and, and maybe he would get in. So, well, he stayed inside for a little while, but then he said, well, thank you. And then he ran off as fast as he could back to the forest. And he was climbing, climbing into the highest tree and looking around ah, much better. Hedgehog kindly thanked Rabbit. And then she just went her way back into the forest. Meanwhile, Squirrel had had time to look around and he had seen the great tit. And the great tit was working, building a nest. It would fly out of the tree to the ground to find st sticks and then carry them and twigs, carry them back to their nest, to his nest. 
then it would fly down again wow that looks very awesome i would really like that a nest high up in the tree so i can look around and see all of the forest and i'm safe there from fox foxes well hey hedgehog hedgehog listen to me um did you see the great tit he's working come have a look see what he's doing he's making a beautiful nest in the tree hi there great tit what are you doing well hello dear friends nice to see you again i am just building my beautiful nest can you see it's looking quite neat doesn't it i was just about to look for another twig and put it in there in my nest so i can have a nice home in the winter wow really awesome can you show us how it works can i have a look Yes, you could, but only if you're very careful. I, I, uh, I will try, okay? Whoa, that looks amazing, Critted. Thank you. That's very polite of you. Well, uh, don't touch anything, please. It was nice seeing you. Bye. And the Critted sat down in his nest. Squirrel said, oh, come on, hedgehog, this is perfect. That's the perfect nest. We can make a nest high up in our, in our beech tree and we can, we can look over the whole of the forest. And that's amazing. Yeah, well, Squirrel, uh, you see, I'm a bit scared of heights maybe. And I'm also not so very good at climbing. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Oh, come on, come, let's at least try. Um, I can help you climb up the tree and then you can have a look and, and if you see how beautiful it is then, then I'm sure you want to try it as well. Come! And he climbed up the tree. Oh, and Hedgehog didn't really want to disappoint her good friend. Uh, but it was quite scary. Uh, you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure it will be fine. Come, I'll help you. I'll help you. <sighs> there they were. Can you look around? Here you can see the great tit and, and there you can see all of the trees and, and look around here. Here you can see the nest, the home of a rabbit. You can see it. But, but Hedgehog wasn't really looking. She was just looking down to the ground and shivering and she was so afraid that she would fall out of the tree. So she said, well, listen squirrel, I don't think this is such a good idea. I don't think I will dare to sleep during the winter because I will be afraid that I will fall out of the tree and, and really hurt myself or break some of my spikes. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, I see. I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to sleep, but you, you see, I think when we make a nest down on the ground, then I wouldn't dare to sleep, I think, because I will be afraid of foxes and I don't have those spikes like you to protect me. So I would really like a nest high up in the tree. What are we about to do now? Well, you see, maybe it's better if we both make our own nest. So I can make one down on the ground and you can make one in the tree. But then I will miss you. I will miss you during the heart of the winter. Yeah, I know, but remember, spring will come soon and then we can play again. Yeah, but you see, you will sleep during the whole of the winter. But I wake up every time and, and then I have to go down and get some food and then you won't be there to play with me. Yeah, I know. It won't be easy and we will miss each other, but you know what? When you miss me, just think about me and and look at my nest and then and then you can think that I am dreaming about you. Okay? Maybe that will help. <sighs> yeah, I think you're right. 
Hmm, I think it's for the best, but oh, I'm still a little sad. That's okay. We're all a little sad sometimes. Could, could you maybe help me down? Yes, yes, of course. And Squirrel climbed down. <laughs> and then he helped, Hedgehog. Ooh, there I go. Oh. <sighs> ah, such a relief to be back underground. And they both, they got to work. Hedgehog went and gathered a lot of leaves. And with those leaves, she made a nice warm bed for herself. The leaves would be like a blanket that would keep her warm. And Squirrel, he went and he gathered some twigs. Like the great tip had done. He also gathered some nice leaves. It would be nice and soft. And some nice soft moss that would keep him very warm and would feel very nice. This was a very nice nest and from here you could see everything that would happen in the forest. And when the two were done with their work, they sat down below the big beech tree and they ate. And Hedgehog, he ate a lot of nice mushrooms. And Squirrel ate acorns and hazelnuts and beech nuts. And he also hit some of them on a nice place where you could find them during the winter. And Hedgehog would also eat some worms and eat so many mushrooms that his belly would grow big. And it would keep her warm during the whole of the winter. And when they were both done eating and when winter came, Squirrel went up to his nest and fell asleep. And Hedgehog, she went to her nest. She crawled underneath all the leaves. And fell asleep as well. The snow started falling on the forest floor. And it was like a blanket. It would also fall on the nest of Hedgehog. It was really winter now. But in their warm nests, Hedgehog and Squirrel weren't cold. Once in a while, Squirrel would wake up and then look around over the forest. It was very beautiful now. And then he would climb down and gather some acorns 
and some beech nuts and some hazelnuts and eat them. And then he would look at the nest of his dear friend that was dreaming about him. And he smiled. And then he went up his tree and went back to sleep.